And once again, welcome back to Philly Sports Spotlight. How many times have you heard it? America, the land of opportunity. Well, for one Nigerian immigrant, opportunity is fast becoming reality as his upstart soccer apparel company has started to breathe new life into his entrepreneurial dreams. Philly Sports Spotlight contributor Mike McCoy has more. Live. Breathe. Football. A lifestyle that is embodied by this man, Ibun Ololoye. A recent graduate of Temple University who has turned his lifelong passion into a new business idea. I literally just had a sketchbook with me and I was drawing a t-shirt and it said live, breathe, football. And I was like, that's kind of hot. And then I, and I got like two dozen shirts printed up and then like all the guys from soccer that I put bought the shirts because they were able to relate with the lifestyle and what the words on the shirt said. His clothing line, Live, Breathe, Football, not only embodies what he does for his work, but what he does out of the office as well. I eventually decided that, that was the brand name I was going to build just because it wasn't anything fancy, it wasn't anything different, it was just like, just kind of very plain, like, look, we live and breathe football, that's our life, this is what it is, you know, there's nothing confusing at all about the brand name. I see basketball as a sport, I see football, American football as a sport, but for me, soccer is, is my lifestyle. There's something about it that I just, I just love so much, and I love sort of tactics, I love the way you play, I love sort of the passion when you score a goal and that kind of thing. So for me, it's, it's, it's a lifestyle in a sense, because it's, it's sort of really um, where I work, my business, where I play, everything is sort of like all, all um, sort of determined by soccer. Even my friends I met playing soccer. Ibun's upbringing wasn't exactly traditional, as he moved from Nigeria to Pensacola, New Jersey, when he was just 10 years old. A transition in life that helped bring out his talent in shirt designing. I quickly learned how to change my accent, you know, so a very thick Nigerian accent, started so learning how, you know, Americans speak. And then, you know, I was in middle school, so, you know, sitting at the back of the bus and how the kids are always like, oh, where are you from, da 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 making jokes and that kind of thing. I've always drawn as a kid, and I remember I was in a, in a study hall my freshman year, I had a, st a free period, and I was drawing a t-shirt design. And my friend was like, oh, can you make that? And for me, it was kind of a challenge, right? So I kind of went to the fabric store, got like paints and that kind of thing, and I made a shirt for him, and I charged him 15 bucks for it. And then like other guys saw the shirt, and I kind of started, so I kind of became known as the guy who made t-shirts. So. Live Breathe Football has taken a life of its own as they have opened up their marketing to a global audience, selling thousands of units on a weekly basis. But the South Jersey native also thinks he could sell his product to the United States, where the game of soccer is not all that popular. Three and a half billion people in the world claim soccer to be their religion. You know, you know, you have you have Christianity, you have Islam, but for some reason soccer is, you know, you know, it's a sport in a sense, yes, but half the planet really sort of believe in the sport and love it so much. And the future is bright for soccer. I think um, we're right at the point where it's still a niche, but like we can kind of be sort of lead that charge to say, look, soccer can be the mainstream sport in America. It may take 10, 20, 30 years, whatever it is, but you know, for us we know there are enough people in this country right now, both immigrants and you know, American-born people that that love soccer as a sport. And we're going to sort of stand in front and say, look, here's a flag we're putting in the ground and let you guys know. If soccer is a religion, then Ibun Ololoye is its savior. His brand Live Breathe Football is now in stores, and you can buy it online at livebreathefootball.com. Reporting for Philly Sports Spotlight, I'm Mike McCoy. Now, see, as a soccer fan, I love the whole concept. Just waiting now for them to rip off for you know, some double XLs. But in all seriousness, uh, this company has also taken the right approach to marketing. Like, for instance, how smart was it to create a shirt that features the world's best soccer player on it, Lana Messi? Now think about it, how cool would it be to actually get Messi to wear that shirt? Ibun actually graduated from Temple a little over a year ago and has since moved his entire company to Seattle, Washington. And I can only imagine he'll somehow try and get a, uh, a few moments with Nike owner and CEO Phil Knight. Well, before we head to our final break, a uh, quick story from Down Under, where last weekend the Australian women's golf open was interrupted by a flash mob. And not just any mob, a mob of skippies, which is what the Aussies nickname kangaroos and check it out 
<laughs> they were down there getting their serious hops on all over the course. These, by the way, Eastern Grey Roos uh, that can grow to be about seven feet tall, weigh 120 pounds, jump six feet high and run 35 miles an hour. Apparently there has been a major drought in that part of the country, so Kangas, they uh, go to the course to eat, drink, and be merry. All right, folks, we're going to take our final break, and when we return, the answer to this week's trivia question, kind of a tricky one. Stay tuned. As we return to Philly Sports Spotlight, we do so with the answer to this week's trivia question. The question was, who was the Phillies starting third baseman during the 1996 season? The answer? How about that Todd Zeal? He paid 130 so games uh, at the hot corner, uh, hit 20 homers, and knocked in 80 RBI. Now, there's a little caveat to this, of course. Uh, there was another kid who came up uh, for the first time to the majors in 1996, played about 30 games at third base. The following year, he went on to be the National League Rookie of the Year. His name was Scott Rowland. Uh, well, that's uh, about going to do it for this edition of Philly Sports Spotlight. I would like you to know, though, if you have any story ideas that you would like us to, to come out to your place and shoot and get on our show, we'd love to. The more stories in the community we can do and bring to our show, we would love. All you got to do is log on to our website and then drop me a website, uh, uh, an email, phil.andrews at wmcn.tv. Let us know what you got going on, and we'll set up a date to come out and try and shoot your event or story or whatever you've got going on. Now that's going to do it for this offering of Philly Sports Spotlight. Uh, don't forget, we'll see you back here every Wednesday night at 7 and midnight. On behalf of the entire Philly Sports Spotlight crew, I'm Phil Andrews, and I'm out of here. Thank you.